So can I have it like in 30 minutes or is it impossible? What do you want to do? A billion is a hundred million for 10 years. Working here so far. Well, that would have been a crazy. Maybe we can make it. For 10 years, he's been selling a hundred million dollars a year. Like super crazy. A billion is a thousand million. That's what the jewelry business is all about. Sourcing materials, production. So many tire kickers and low lives in this business and in this world. I've been doing business here for 17 years. I know all the best people to do business with. You know, I stand out. This is not the reality that's scripted reality. This is indeed reality. So this uh, bracelet for gray market, uh, it's for this guy by the name of Roman. Roman moved a billion dollars worth of watches. I said that uh, on a uh, video. And people like commented or whatever, even this guy that used to work here commented, so that's a, impossible, this, that. Listen, a billion is a hundred million for 10 years. A billion is a thousand million, okay? So 10 years, people who hustle, they don't understand that. Now I'm making them a bracelet. This bracelet is something that I respect the guy, all right? There's not a lot of people I respect. A lot of people are fucking worthless, but him, not the case. He has a uh, built an incredible business. I got to deliver him a bracelet. It's something based on watch, a skeleton face. No one's ever seen it. No one's ever done it. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it works. Let's see how it's made. So the skeleton concept obviously comes from, uh, I love skeleton face watches to look inside the inner workings of a mechanism is something that's a passion of mine. So we had this CAD design, we got it going. I like to push myself, I like to come up with a concept that works. I got some amazing uh, graphic designers, model makers, and production teams to, that I could come up with an idea and pop it into reality. We got something that, uh, you know, actually mimics a skeleton watch, there's no actually moving parts. It has to be easy to manufacture. I don't got, like Patek Philippe here, spend a year making, designing a watch. All of the different layers, they have to mimic the skeleton uh, face. And, you know, you got to have a creative mind after 18 years of make, making jewelry, doing business. And uh, the process, it had to be kind of uh, some uh, ingenuity behind it. This is 50 pieces. This is actually the biggest file I've ever received working here so far. And I had to carefully um, arrange all of them and make sure none of them break. They're super fragile too. So this was definitely like a tough one to work with. It's looking good so far. I'm going to drop it off today in passing. And they're all, it's a three-tone piece too. So I had to like separate all the pieces and make sure that it's the right piece for the right color. We're using yellow gold, rose gold, and white gold for this piece. So now we gotta get all these gold parts together and we have to clean them. That's a hell of a lot of work for uh, one bracelet. This is New York City. This is handmade. This is made by uh, right here in the United States, right here in New York City, right here on 47th Street, from, from start to finish. And that's we're really proud of that because there's not a lot of factories of production in, in America, and there should be. Going to CAD camp, picking up the Roman Sharp uh, bracelet. It looks like um, the inside of a, of a watch, um, of a watch, the, the movement part, like the jewels and all that stuff. Yeah, but we're pretty much done with it. We're not doing anything on it anymore. No. So I thought I thought you assemble it. We did. Here no, no, it. meaning like the links. Is it? Yeah, we did. Okay. So we're gonna pre-polish, open up the placements for this stuff. Uh, I need the this stone to just figure out what Maxwell stones we're gonna put it. I didn't spoke to him, but you you said that he wants ruby or something. Like that? At some point he wants he wants some of the rubies. I would probably I would just get a whole bunch of rubies, one millimeter and down, and we can take it from there. And that's really about it. I'm not giving it to you just yet. I wanna open up these placements here and here. Why? Because um, I already got the diamonds. 
What do you want to do? I'm going to take it like this. You sure? Okay, yeah. just have them two things. I'll make sure that they open up nicely, pre-polish this part before setting it. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as I set it after pre-polishing, we're good. Don't touch the diamonds inside. I'm going to set those myself. Yeah, I know. They're, they're, good, those are going to be the burnish. Yeah, I'll take care of those. We're not going to burnish. We're going to end up raising beads on some of them. So uh, just too delicate. Only thing, just have them take care of the outside. I got the inside. Okay. I mean, would have been better to move. <laughs> but that would have been a crazy. we can make it. But that would have been crazy, right? Like super crazy. Yeah, doable. Again, when you mean pre polish Pre-polish. You don't mean like the, you mean like um, cutting in and cleaning. I would say because that's not pre-polish. So the pre brush. Polish and then the bristle brush. Reopen again and then get in there. That's so you want bristle brush so in between the. Yeah, make it nice. Whatever okay. they're gonna do, make it nice, make it perfect, and then uh, I'll. If I can pick it up tomorrow morning, I'll be able to set it and start working on sanding the lock. Can we get that done? I tried to get it by twelve. That'd be amazing. Okay. Right. Eric, uh, I need something emergency for Max. Can you do brush? Polish this, like, everything is fine, but be careful, just brush in between. But I need brush brush, not the bristle. Like this. You see? Not like this. Like brush. So can I have it like in 30 minutes or is it impossible? 30 minutes is fine? Okay, thank you. Yeah, here's Eric polishing it up and he is, he works uh, 12 hours a day, six days a week. Um, and he doesn't want to stop. Uh, we can't stop him. There's a hell of a lot of things to polish and he doesn't want anybody to do it but him. So he's out here and he's he's an expert polishing this bracelet, making sure it comes out perfect. This is good. Thank you. I got the diamonds, and now we're going to Renato. So what tal in the video? So I need you to give this to Renato and make sure he set them um, nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully he could have it ready by in the morning. The morning, yeah. And if anything is wrong, just text me any sizes okay. that I need to like change. Don't set on the top. Only here and here. This don't set. Okay. These right here, the, mm -hmm. this burnish setting, no, only okay. here and here. Okay, I'll let them know. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So now, listen, the setting on this, you have to kind of, uh, there's several different stones, that the, the diamonds, and then you have these uh, rubies and sapphires, the jewels and the jeweled movement. This guy is uh, tightening some stones. We have the best of the best. We know what we're doing. It's extremely difficult to put this team together. It's all about the team. And you could see, you know, what this, what's happening with this bracelet. How many people had to sit there to, to make this thing into a reality? A hell of a lot. But it's uh, meticulous, and uh, we did a fantastic job for a crazy project. It's gonna cost more money. It's it's, it's cost effective. Right now, this bracelet's about twenty thousand dollars. Give you you know under uh, under that, it's an expensive piece of jewelry. I could make one for a hundred thousand. You want the moving? You want your bracelet to tell you time? We could do that.
And just the finishing touch. More equipment, more New York City. Lasers, you've seen this in action. You know, this is not something that is uh, exclusive to us, but it's within the combination, the laser, the polish, the assembly, the model making. This is the final product. 18 years old when I started this business. I'm 34, about to turn 35. It took me 18 years to be able to make, make this happen. I'm very proud of this piece.